Welcome. Today, we're going to cover how you can gain greater visibility into your supply chain with Electronic Product Code Information Services, or EPCIS. With this GS1 global standard, businesses can obtain relevant information about products, logistic units, and assets, and share this information using a common framework as they physically move throughout the supply chain, both within their business and with their partners. Let's start with the foundation. Visibility event data helps shed light on the physical movement of products as they travel throughout the supply chain. With this visibility, retailers and brand owners can track, trace, and share data within their internal company. And with certain supply chain partners they select, thereby connecting the physical world to the digital world. EPCIS provides consistent means by which supply chain partners utilizing disparate systems and technologies can communicate and allows for leveraging various different data capture methods such as barcodes or RFID. Picture this visibility data as a series of snapshots captured throughout a journey. Each snapshot represents a singular event generated during a physical process in the supply chain. Every EPCIS event contains a set of up to five standard pieces of information that are called dimensions. When all events are looked at, business partners can see the full picture of what has historically occurred throughout the physical supply chain. Let's explore these dimensions in further detail and see how they make this visibility possible. The first EPCIS dimension is called the what dimension. The information in this dimension identifies the products, logistics units, or other assets involved in the supply chain event, and those objects are the subjects of the visibility data. Some examples of these include a case of apples, a newly formed pallet, or a vehicle used in the transportation of goods. The next dimension provides information on when the event occurred by providing the date and time the event took place. Next is the where dimension. This information provides the exact location of where the event took place and where the items can be found. The why dimension provides the business process that took place during the event and the status of the items involved after the event's completion. Depending on the items, this could mean a variety of different things, such as a case is packed and ready for shipping, an item is received and included in the destination's sellable inventory, or an item is sold and removed from inventory. The last dimension of the EPCIS event is the How dimension. This provides information on the condition of the objects during the event. For example, the surrounding temperatures during cold storage. Having this type of information in the how dimension is not required, but can be useful in certain processes. When deciding which business events to capture, start at the place where the data has the most value for you and your trading partners. Once you have the framework in place, you can gain greater value for that investment by including additional trading partners or by adding granularity in your own system. Now that we have learned about the dimensions of an EPCIS event, let's see them in action by following the journey of a t-shirt as it travels through the supply chain from the factory to the consumer. Please note that for this example, how dimension does not apply. Starting at the factory, visibility event data is generated the moment the t-shirt is manufactured, which defines its introduction to the supply chain. Let's zoom in. At 9 a.m. on May 12, 2024, a t-shirt came off an assembly line at a New Jersey factory. The t-shirt was assigned a globally unique identifier and serial number, at which point it officially entered the supply chain as a new trade item. From the factory, the t-shirt continues to move through the supply chain and at 6 a.m. on May 14, 2024, the t-shirt was shipped from the Philadelphia Distribution Center to a retail store in North Wales. Later on, in that day at 10 a.m. on May 14, 2024, the t-shirt was received at the retail store in North Wales. 
and it was counted and inventoried at the retail store a few hours later at 12.31 p.m. At 3 past 5 p.m. on May 18, 2024, the t-shirt was sold to a customer at the retail store in North Wales and removed from inventory. By gaining visibility into their supply chain, brands and retailers will not only know the exact journey of their products, but also gain valuable insights that assist them in making informed decisions for a variety of supply chain considerations, including inventory management, shipping and receiving accuracy, recall and expiration analysis, and product origins. Want to learn more about EPCIS and other GS1 standards? Check out the GS1 U.S. University website.